So exactly how should brands and businesses budget for influencer marketing? It's a question we're asked almost every day. As a first step, you need to better understand how influencers actually make money and what will drive them to want to work with your brand. I spoke on a podcast about that, which you can access on our website or on iTunes called How Social Influencers Make Money. And as a first step, you need to decide what your overall goal is. Are you trying to get awareness out about your brand or create an almost direct response, purchase now type of influencer program? I'll tell you this from years of experience. Awareness of your brand is what you should be focused on, not immediate sales. Or is it that you want cool content to be created? That should be part of your consideration, and it is an awesome reason to do influencer marketing. And then, as a second step, your budget is going to be created by what that goal is. Awareness means high numbers of eyeballs, and that means having a budget to afford those eyeballs. You could hire a larger, single influencer for the same rate. You hire a dozen smaller influencers. Those dozen are going to create a lot more content than that single larger influencer, but it's also going to take a lot more time to manage them. Typically, most influencer campaigns are built around what's called a CPM, cost per thousand marketing fee. You find out the cost of the influencer based on their fan base size, and you use a standard average of starting around $10 to $15 for micro to macro influencers. Micro influencers are going to have less than 50,000 followers, macro influencers more. The fee will scale up and down based on the type of content, the capabilities of the influencer to create cool content, and typical engagement factors of how many fans will actually like, comment, share that post. I talk more about CPM pricing on our Influencer Marketing Partnerships video, so make sure you also check that out. Have a great day.